Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Today I'll be talking about Nestle's newest plant-based food innovation, plant-based shrimp. Woo! Are you guys all excited? It's called Vrimp. Okay, it sounds very, very cool in a way and uh, innovative. So, Nestle announced that they're gonna have plant-based alternatives to eggs and shrimp available at the menu from now on. And you have to know exactly what ingredients they use to make this plant-based food, okay? And what we have here is actually a combination of seafood, peas, elephant yam roots, mainly these three ingredients. Now, if you are a vegetarian, I think you'll feel very excited about this news in a way. I know some vegetarians, they don't eat seafood, but those vegetarians that do eat seafood, hey, what do you all think about this? And I'm just curious to know how it tastes. You know, does it taste like the authentic texture? Like what the Nestle office, uh, chief technology officer says here? You know, our new plant-based shrimp and egg alternatives have an authentic texture and flavor, as well as the uh, a good nutrient profile, making a good replacement for shrimp and eggs in a variety of dishes. Okay, obviously, plant-based foods is getting much more popular, especially starting this decade. And because of Beyond Meat, it really helped push this food industry and in changing it completely, right? A lot of people have tried plant-based food before, but aren't really open to eating it as much. Uh, obviously there are some that, like me, I do want to eat it more often. And I'm one of those early, I guess you could say, early adopters of plant-based food. You know, I want to put it more into my diet. That's because nutrition is just as valuable as the real food in a way. And obviously you've seen plant-based meat, that's most popular. You also now have plant-based milk alternatives, right? Dairy alternatives like oat milk, and all these other things, right? Coffee mixes, creamers, chocolate, ice cream as well. All these could be plant-based. So it feels like anything you can think of could now t be turned into plant-based. And what do y'all think about that? You know, Are y'all excited to try something like this? Unfortunately, it's only available in Switzerland, in Europe, right? Switzerland, Germany, Italy, Italy, and Netherlands, because Nestle you know, even though they're big, they're the world's biggest food company, their main office is in Germany, is in Europe. Okay, so we'll see how that launches. You know, what's the reception from all the fans out there and all the consumers out there, if it's good or not. And then later on, I think these products would go to North America and potentially Asia as well. And I'd love to try it. You know, I'm a big, I'm a big seafood person but I'm also a big plant-based food person as well. So I don't mind trying it. And yeah, I'm very open to a lot of experiences. How about you guys? What do you all think about this news today? Does it make you more open-minded to trying plant-based foods like this? Or you're still kind of attached to just the real food and you prefer eating the real food instead? Okay, let me know in the comment section below. And let me know what do you think about this, you know, daily news report thing that I I'll be doing. You know, is this a good idea where every single day uh, I talk about a news article, a trendy news article in a way? Just as long as you all learn something new and important, I think that's just the most funnest and best part about this. Okay, let me know in the comment section below what you think about it, and I hope you all. Have yourselves a really beautiful day.